So we've done giveaways before, but this one's a little bit different. Okay, do you want to give away a whole PC? I do. Man, 100,000 subscribers. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. What, what better way to celebrate than by making a PC and giving it away? And making it cool colors. Mm. This is the case that we're going to try and do this with, but we need to take it completely apart to make sure that we can paint it in the way that we want. If we can't, we do have a backup case, but I really want to try with this one because I think it will be cool. We've got all sorts of things. We have proper protection. Screwdriver. Proper protection, again, for the eyes. We have, and uh, we'll show you how this all works later, wet sanding paper, we have proper sanding stuff, we have primer, I also have some plastic primer as well because there are plastic bits on here. We have polish and we have paints and, and uh, tack cloths and all of that, but if you want to know how to paint a PC case, hopefully this turns out good and uh, you learn something. Or if it turns out badly, it's going to be really embarrassing. First things first, we want to remove absolutely everything that we don't want to get paint on. That includes the ever satisfying removal of plastic coverings. We definitely want to get rid of any electronic components or wiring, so removing the front panel and all associated cables is really important. During this process, it's really easy to get carried away with just removing everything and not remembering where you put it. It's important that with the really small parts, especially with things like screws, you find some way to catalogue them and make sure that they end up back where they started. Now in this case, there are some parts that won't be able to be removed. The feet, for example, they seem to be riveted into the base. So if the parts we can't remove, we're going to come back to those later with some masking tape. Now for the front grille, we definitely want to make sure we get the foam out. Any paint on that is really going to kill our airflow. What we're going to do next is rough up the powder coating that's on this case. You could, if you had the time, contemplate taking this all the way back to the bare metal, which is pretty hardcore. You could use paint stripper to get all of the powder coating off, or you could bead blast it all the way back to the raw surface. But that's a little bit cost prohibitive, and also the barrier to entry to that for most people is just a bit too much. So we're going to rough this up with some 360 grit sandpaper so our primer has something to cling to. Obviously, that sanding is going to leave behind a lot of residue that you definitely don't want to be in your paint. For us, that meant taking them into the shower and getting them all clean. Although rather than doing that with the front panel, we actually just wiped it down so we didn't get water into all the wiring. After they get bone dry, it's time for some masking tape. It's important that you also use a proper painter's tape so there's no residue left behind and there's absolutely no bleed if you can avoid it. I also made sure that the front panel connections were masked from the back to prevent any paint getting in where it shouldn't be. Now we're going to make sure that the surface is free of any residue. I made sure to wear gloves as well so there's no body oils that are going to mix with that paint and stop it from bonding to the surface. And then to make absolutely certain those surfaces are ready to take on the primer, we hit them with a tack cloth to get rid of all the little bits. Okay, let's prime it.
Okay, make sure you come back next week to see how we're getting on with this PC build. We should, by next week, be able to show you a case, at least I hope, that is completely clear coated and finished and buffed up and looking super shiny. Next, at least on my to-do list, is to get that primer all kind of wet sanded up and nice and smooth before we start dealing with the color. The primer did go on really well, but there are a few small imperfections in there that are kind of to be expected with the drawbacks of spray cans. I mean, compared to a proper air gum, where you can change the variables and they'll stay constant until you change them yourself, Spray cans kind of are a little bit temperamental. When they lose pressure, you'll get a little bit of spluttering and you'll have to do all sorts of human compensation. And inevitably something doesn't work out the way that you want it. But that's something when you're going in. So the wet sanding process is really gonna help us even that all out. Make sure you come back every week to see how we're getting on with the build because at the end of the month, we're actually gonna give it away. We're giving the whole PC away, which is absolutely crazy. And if you don't wanna miss it, make sure that when you are subscribed, you hit that little bell icon so you don't miss any videos. Also, if you haven't entered our previous giveaway, there's two Corsair Void RGB wireless headsets that we're giving away. So if you wanna go and check out the video that I've just left a link to up there, you can go and do that and put your name in the drawer. All right. Right, busy times. I guess it's time for me to go and edit this video and then I better get stuck into some wet sanding so we have some cool stuff to show you next week. Okay, bye.